hyphen vent compact chest seal, twin pack. Life-threatening bleeding warrants immediate intervention. Basic bleeding control actions provided by bystanders can often make the difference between life and death. The items in this bleeding control kit empower anyone to assist in life-threatening situations. Now you can easily prepare yourself for the unexpected. Lives are depending on it. Remove the instruction booklet and follow along as needed. Gloves should be worn during the application. Remove trauma shears from the kit. Position the jaws of the shears at the cuff or edge of the clothing to be cut. While applying tension with the non-shear holding hand, cut the clothing by advancing the trauma shears with a cutting motion. Trauma shears are designed to rapidly expose a patient with minimal movement, so the rescuer may locate and treat wounds. Be sure to cut all the material away from the chest to expose any additional wounds. Move the cut material out of the way. Remove the hyphen vent compact chest seal from the kit. Open the package. Use the red tabs as an indicator of where to tear. Once removed from its pouch, wipe any dirt or fluid from the skin with the gauze. Grip the red tab to peel the clear liner from the dressing. Now center the vent over the wound. Firmly press onto the skin for a good seal. It is very important to make sure you smooth out all edges flat against the skin. Assess the patient carefully on the front and back of the torso and under the armpit areas. Assure the patient that help is on the way. These are some important points to remember. The hyphen vent compact chest seal, twin pack, comes with two chest seals for either entrance and exit wounds or for multiple penetrating wounds to the chest. You can also save the packaging material as it may serve as an occlusive dressing for other chest injuries if needed. Rapid application of the hyphen vent compact chest seal is critical to prevent air from entering the chest cavity through an open chest wound. Penetrating trauma to the chest, especially gunshot wounds, may produce entrance and exit wounds anywhere on the body. Assess the patient carefully on the front and back of the torso and under the armpit areas. If the patient can breathe easier sitting up, then the rescuer should allow the patient to be in this position of comfort. Unconscious patients should be placed in the recovery position on their side and their airways should be monitored. Always call 911 for emergencies. Always follow device instructions for use. Always follow direction of healthcare professionals present. Always know the legal protections granted by applicable Good Samaritan laws. Prepare anyone, anywhere to save a life.